Transform your performance through values. Transform your performance through values. Well, that's one of those words that kind of, again, another one that kind of loses all meaning uh, because people have a set of values and they make a list of them and they put them in their plan and they probably communicate them, you know, via the major documents and then nothing seems to happen. So I just thought I'd make a comment, even though you probably know all about values, you're probably sick to the back teeth of hearing about organizations that are value led and value driven. Um, I know I am really, but that's mainly because um, I see the missed opportunity. So it's not unusual for me to go into uh, a company, a senior management team, and for them to say they cannot see the values of the organization being delivered in the customer promise or the customer experience. Uh, and uh, one director or one member of the management team uh, will be um, berating another member of the management team because their department is not delivering the customer experience. But then if you ask them what their values are, they don't know. Now, isn't that surprising? They don't know. Um, typically, organizations get together, you know, in a group, in a room, and they brainstorm ideas about values. But this is really a missed opportunity. If you think about the scriptures, and the characters that are um, written about in the scriptures, then they had a, a very clear sense of values depending upon which scripture you read. Now there is a sense of universal values, but for each of these individual scriptures, the characters have a very definite set of values and the people who um, uh, practice those very particular values have objectives and behaviors which they do every day which contribute towards them becoming as the person in the scripture so if the scriptures the individual scriptures can have individual values then it's not too big a jump for a company to realize that they too can have individual values that come from the characters of the organization. They come from the characters of the organization. Now this is a bit of a strange thing for people who are running businesses to hear because they don't think that their, their personal values are of any relevance. But the point is they are the relevance. When you're developing a strategy, they are the juice really that people respond to. And if you can articulate them, then you can make specific objectives for them, and then you can see behaviors that deliver them day by day. But it is personal first. This is the thing that the scriptures have got, but the business people haven't got. I mean, I'm pretty sure that the people who are leading these different uh, um, spiritual or religious traditions pretty sure they didn't check in with someone else about what their values should be in fact it was checking in with society and what their values were that probably led them to develop um, the methodologies that they developed so if you want to see your values in action if you want to, your customers to experience your values in action, then you're going to have to articulate them from a personal perspective first. And that's really, that, that's really the tip or that's really the secret. And if you can articulate them from a personal perspective first, you can then commercialize your values you can then give them targets, you can then see behaviors 
in your organization that reflect the values that you want to see and if you don't bother to do it don't be surprised if nobody is delivering you what you want transform your performance through values.